she following us? I don't think so. I think she's probably talking to Eli. That rat! Did anyone take a look at the signs while we were running? No. Where are we? I don't know, but at least she hasn't found us. <sighs> Mrs. LaCroix. She's embezzling money. She's shutting down the schools, taking the earnings, and keeping all the money for herself. What are we gonna do? She's packing the new schools with specialty students as her cover. But I still don't understand what she needs all that money for. Face cream? That stuff was legit. <laughs> Guys, it doesn't matter what she needs the money for. What matters is that this was never about being special. It was never about who's better, who's smarter, who's more talented. This was one woman's stupid, selfish desires, and she just wanted money. Once I tell the superintendent, oh my lord, I... Ella, what about Eli? He's still back in her office. You think we should go back for him? Oh, there's really no need to go back for little Eli. He'll all end up in the same place eventually. <laughs> I needed big bucks to stay on top of my job. 
my empire of education that I had built and now ruled over. And that's when it hit me. My job could be the very thing that would save me. And so it's all come to this. Any final words before I obliterate your chances of learning again? Uh, yeah. Do you actually ever wear your glasses? <laughs> I'll destroy you like I destroyed all the schools in the region, and there's nothing you can do to stop me, Eli, you little son of a- Thanks! Ah, mm. what, what, what are you doing here? I got your BBM. <laughs> Not you. Me. What? What? <laughs> Eli, you have the superintendent on your phone? But, but you're not on student council. You're nobody. You're just- He's my son. Oh, oh, <laughs> some time now, Lacrum, but I've been playing it safe until the evidence surfaced. When Eli texted me, I knew this was it. This was the night. You're done, Agnes. Uh, it's so. No, no, thanks. I'm going to jail. Thanks. No, I'm your boss, thanks. No, no, that's a handcuff. I don't want to be handcuffed. No, thank you. Uh, what do you? No, uh, I'm handcuffed. <laughs> the reason I didn't help you guys out before is because I knew there was no point. My dad's a superintendent. He's been trying to save the core educational system for months now. And even he couldn't do anything to stop LaCrum in her special schools. I just didn't want us to get caught up in a battle I knew we'd lose. I thought maybe we could cherish the time we had together or something. Aw, Eli! Why didn't you just tell us, man, about your dad being the superintendent? I knew how bad it felt to be kicked out of school unfair unfairly. I was always so mad at Danny for getting me expelled. When my dad came to Parkville to spread the news, I didn't want you guys to blame me for it. Hey man, who would have understood? Eli, if we knew that your dad was the superintendent, we never would have worked so hard to save Parkville. I mean, we thought that he agreed with Mrs. LaCroix. We never thought that he was working just as hard as we were. So, I guess, thanks. Yeah, no baby. <laughs> Not to interrupt or anything, but has she moved? <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't try anything, you pathetic little cheat. What do you say, guys? Time to turn her in? Are we gonna be in the paper? Oh, she, she's getting away! She's heading out the door, but she's attached to a chair. She has For some reason, it's a huge deal. <laughs> Let's get her to the police station and then catch some shut-eye. Tomorrow, I'm calling the board. <laughs> 